Hi, I'm Steve. I'm blind. And I'm about to play Super Star Wars because everyone is Star Wars crazy at the moment, including myself. Uh, I've seen The Force Awakens at least twice now as of this recording, and I'm probably going to see it a few more times before, uh, even long after it's out. Um, but in all the hype of Star Wars, uh, I got to go back to the original, and I remember playing this game as a kid. Wasn't very good at it. I don't even think I made it past the second level. Uh, I think my brother made it past further, but I just, I didn't, I don't know. Anyway, um, so we are going to play Super Star Wars. And this is the re-release. So we got the Disney logo now and the new Lucasfilm logo. And it's in stereo, apparently. <laughs> so let's, uh... Oh, there it is, there it is. Ah, OG. Oh, All right, so let's, uh, let's start the game. Long time ago, in a galaxy far away. Oh, shoot! Star Wars! Ah! Oh, this is so good. This brings back a lot of memories. Episode 4, A New Hope. I can't even read this, the, the words. I'm just going to guess, because, I mean, I know what happened. So, there's this guy, his name is Luke. And he's missing. Oh, wait, shoot, that's Force Awakens. <laughs> Spoilers! My brother and I got a Super Nintendo for Christmas when, um, when we were kids. And the first game I got was uh, Mario Kart. So I'm an OG Mario Kart fan, too. I may actually play that at some point if I can if I can figure out a way to hook it up and record it. There's a heart. Okay. See, this part I, I always was okay with. Oh, shoot! Get out of there! At least he had unlimited ammo. Whoa! Hello! I need, like, a super heart or something. Oh, these guys. Oh, I hated these guys as a kid. Oh, they always look like nose boogers. I've begun to see a pattern with doing these blind gamers. You pretty much get to see the first level of a lot of games really well. <laughs> I mean, at, at least I sort of learn from my mistakes. But a lot of times when I do play, it is mostly trial and error. A lot of times whenever I did play video games, it was mostly just watching my brother play. So when I say I played and I uh, a certain games, a lot of the times it was mostly me uh, watching my brother, and that was like the original Let's Plays um, before anything else. Whoa! I remember actually knowing the ending to Ma Super Mario, uh, the first one for the NES, before uh, before I ever like I, I and I never beat it. I know the ending because believe it or not, my mom was a much better ah jeez was a much better gamer than my brother and I she beat Mario before my brother and I ever even got close and then she found Monopoly on the NES and she just stopped that's the only game she's ever played since we tried to get our dad into playing video games originally that was what we were told that the Nintendo system like the NES was for it was because we bought it as a father's day gift for uh like or at least my, that's what my mom said to my brother and I um, and knowing the fact that, that basically my brother and I were going to play it more than, no, uh, than my dad did. So I think it was just sort of like a sly way to basically say, yeah, here's something for the kids, but maybe like dad could play it too. So he, she bought the NES and she didn't know that actually it came with a, a game in the system. So she actually bought a game, um, and it was the Three Stooges. Yeah, the, I bet you didn't know that the Three Stooges actually what, they actually had a uh, NES game. It was a bunch of like small little mini puzzle games um, and such, but it was just it, it was fun to play. I, you know, I, I don't know why this is making me want to tell stories as I'm playing, because in reality, I mean, you, you've seen me play before. You know, I suck. You know my like what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna talk about like my first time watching Star Wars. Uh, I think my dad introduced me to it, and it was a VHS, like, copy of, like, recording off a TV. And then, uh, I actually, I didn't even really see Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi until much later in life. I think it was maybe in high school when I actually finally saw, uh, Empire Strikes Back fully. I saw clips of it, and I, and I knew, obviously, what happened, but I never really did see the full movie. And I didn't even, I don't think I even remember seeing Return of the Jedi until I was in high school. Uh, and then I loved it ever since. Like, it was... Actually, the end of high school was right when the prequels came out. Um, 
So I remember, I, I, even then, I remember watching it. And I'm like, this isn't Star Wars. Like, because I was also a Star Trek fan. I was more of a Star Trek fan growing up than a Star Wars fan. Um, it wasn't until I really read the books um, that I really became a big fan of Star Wars. And that's it. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll just keep going until. I, 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 I tell you, I can't. I don't think I could probably even get to the land speeder level. This is just kind of ridiculous. Ah, there it goes. Ah, uh, that's it. I, I, you know, I don't think I'm going to get any further than that. So I hope you enjoyed at least the first level of Super Star Wars. <laughs> You've probably seen that many a times, but yeah, you know, he's got more often than he thought he did. Um, anyway, that's it for me. You know what? Tell me in the comments below what your first experience with Star Wars was or your first uh, time playing video games as a kid. Uh, and, uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, and if you're brand new and you want to be able to, uh, continue watching these on a regular basis, you can click the subscribe button, uh, hashtag LPF. As always, I remain obedient to yours, and may the Force be with you. Bye! <laughs>